Hi there, my name is Graham Headley. I'm the Food Service Tutor at Kendall College. And over the next few months, I'm going to be posting up some videos to inspire the future generation of hospitality students. So if you're a student that's thinking about hospitality, some of you maybe start in September progressing, these are going to be some fun things you can impress your family and friends with over the upcoming months. So without further ado, I'm going to talk to you about my first one. I've created a mocktail for you to take on the classic mojito, but an alcoholic version. So let me go through with what you're going to need. We're going to need three limes. We're going to need some bowls with some crushed ice in, one bowl to free it up for the lime juice which I'm going to show you, some caster sugar, a tablespoon to use the caster sugar with, chopping board and a knife obviously to slice through the limes, and if you don't have a juicer, the fork which will help me juice the limes as you're about to see, and also a tall glass like this to put your drink in, always essential. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut through my limes, three is good because it will make two uh, two cocktails for you. Obviously, if you have more, just obviously double the amount, quadruple the amount, not a problem. So, watch what I do. Pierce the lime with the fork, crush the lime just to extract the juice out from there. Get as much out as you can. Doesn't matter, but don't discard the limes. I'm going to use this in my glass for a bit of extra colour, okay? As well. With the summer around the corner, this is going to be a fantastic drink, like I've said as well. Very refreshing, quite tart, okay? But obviously, if you don't like it too tart, use slightly less limes, okay? The sugar gives the added sweetness to the drink as well. So nicely crushed in there, ladies and gentlemen. So, that's the juice on that side for the moment. As I said, I've got some mint here. I've put some in a bowl already, and I'm gonna use a tablespoon of sugar, not a teaspoon, okay? Because you want that sweetness. Now, if you've got a pestle and mortar, that'd be really, really good. I don't. So a good substitute would be a rolling pin and use the end of the rolling pin. Now what I'm doing here is crushing it all and mixing it together. This will help release some of the juices from the mint leaves, but also it'll add a sweetness of the sugar in there as well. So nicely done like this. Okay. So that should about do it. It's nicely crushed in from there. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is add some ice into the glass that I've got here. Like I said, it can be crushed, it doesn't have to be if you don't want it to be, okay? So, add the ice into there. I'm now gonna add two of the crushed limes I've got into there. Just press them down a little bit more to extract a bit more of the juice, okay? And then, with the spoon, I'm gonna add the mint leaves in there as well, okay? So be a nice mixture of the two. Push it in, nice. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is add the lime juice into there. What's Daddy doing? And from this, I'm going to add the final ingredient, which is soda water. This will top the drink up. One final mix with the spoon to make sure everything's mixed together. Add a straw, bit of a decoration, final mint leaf. There's your drink, ladies and gentlemen. So try this, upload it to the college website, and we'll see how we go, and whoever wins will get a prize in September. Thank you very much.